Hey everyone, happy Sunday. So we have another video today. I'm very excited. Uh, it is our weekly, once a week, every Sunday, long-term stock video. I actually wanted to talk about a different stock today. I, uh, but it seems people want to learn about origin materials, all right? So that was actually, origin materials was actually my, the, the stock I want to talk about next week. And another one is what I want to talk about this week. That's okay, we'll switch it. So we'll talk about origin, origin materials now. This is an extremely, extremely, extremely promising company. I mean, so far the way everything goes and everything is set up, this, if we just go by what it is so far, this is gonna be one of the most successful investments you can make. Are there risks to investing in origin materials besides being the one, one of the most successful investments you can make? Yeah, and we'll talk about the risks too. You have to know that, right? Uh, but first, let's uh, learn about the company. And I'm going to show you some things uh, that make this company extremely unique, amazing, and a great long-term stock. All right, Origin continues to see strong customer demand in its first plant because please keep in mind, that's one thing people should know is they don't even have a plant yet. I know it's scary right now. You're listening to this and you're like, what are you talking about? This thing doesn't have a plant up and running and you're telling me this is a great long-term hold? Wait a second. This is, this is, there's the unique thing about this whole thing. Uh, which you'll understand what's going on. Uh, I'll explain. Uh, so Origin continues to see strong customer demand and its first plan is on track to begin operations in 2023. So this year coming up, it's uh, gonna have that plant ready to go and two more are being built ready by 2025. So this will make it a leader in the field of bioplastics with an estimated $1 trillion total addressable market. They actually will be a leader, if not uh, if not one of the top leaders, because the plant they're um, uh, going to open in 2023, which is going to be based in Louisiana, is one of the biggest, and will be yeah, it's going to be one of the biggest in the entire United States. Its proprietary technology allows customers to meet emissions targets without sacrificing performance or cost, establishing strong barriers to entry. Uh, and why would that be important? Well, uh, United States, Canada, they're soon going to ban all plastics made from fossil fuels. It's actually going to start starting 2023. And, and then by 2025, it's over. It's game over. Nobody's going to be allowed to operate and sell products that are made with plastics from uh, fossil fuels. So Origin is well capitalized. Uh, they have a lot of money that they have received from investors and uh, with enough cash to fund construction also of their second plant, which is going to be ready by 2025. Origin doesn't need to raise money through stock offerings. They have enough money to go through 2025 already, secure it on the side, and complete their second plant. Uh, new regulations are increasing demand, including a recently passed bill in California, Canada, basically in the whole United States soon, and that will ban all plastics that are made from plastic. Now, Moom is a proud sponsor of this video, and something I have to uh, let everybody know. Uh, it's a great trading up. If you if you don't have Moom, you might want to consider it. Soon I will be covering Hong Kong stocks and you can trade the entire Hong Kong Stock Exchange on Moom. Also, all the U.S. stocks and all the U.S. exchange traded funds, you're basically getting the best diversified app out there. Um, and if you use my link in the comment section below, click on the sign up, deposit 100 bucks, start trading, you, make, uh, you get five free stocks. All right, Origin Materials, guys, is at $5.01 right now is uh you're looking at the max chart right now so you're looking at the max chart and uh, as you can tell it's not doing well and that is because this company really has no revenue yet so why would you you know how could uh, the plant didn't start operating it's gonna operate in 2023 if uh, it was obvious that people would be playing around with this stock and uh, you know sell and make profits and so on the good thing is it seems to have found a resistance a barrier let's say i'm not into technical charts i never do uh, that kind of stuff five a little less than five around there. It, it bounces back up. It never really goes under that now origin has a superior proprietary platform technology that enables its customers to meet their net zero ambitions, right? Uh, while maintaining performance and so on like I said earlier origin is expected to have strong barriers to entry with its well-developed patent portfolio ensuring competitors are unable to compete with origin and remain far behind it origin continues to see strong demand that strong demand is insane. I mean, it is insane. We're talking about a company that's right now has basically no revenue and they've already gotten the, they've already gotten a lot of deals in their second, um, in their second quarter investor presentation, 
which is on their website. I'll show you parts of that invest presentation. The deals that they have are insane, insane. They've already closed a ton of deals uh, uh, with companies and the total amount so far is going up to $8.1 billion. I mean, it's insane. I mean, the, if, if all these deals go through and are kept in origin, uh, performs their plan performs as they expected to because maybe you know one of the risks is that you know maybe they'll realize that there's delays in building that you know in oper in getting that first plan operating or you know uh, they're not meeting the quotas and so on right there's you know those are risks because we don't have a history of seeing them operating right but if they do and everything's fine uh, I mean this is <laughs> this is insane a five dollar stock no revenue soon looking at uh, generating 8.1 billion dollars origin seems likely to begin operations in 2023 as they state in their uh, investment presentation and the second part is uh, the second plan is for, for uh, 2024 to 2025 customer demand as you as you can all see is just increasing since february 2021 the transactions announced um, have gone up to from February 2021 to August 2022 to 8.1 billion dollars. It was 1 billion, and now the amount of companies um, pledging and um, willing to do business with Origin, the deals have reached 8.1 billion dollars. Some of the customers um, that they've already have deals with is Revlon, uh, REV, and that stock did well on Friday. ATC Plastics. Cura Ray, if I pronounce that right. So those are new customers, actually. Uh, Revlon is working with uh, Origin to develop packaging materials for cosmetics and reserved commercial volume. Um, volumes of Origin PET. Also, Cura Ray is partnering with Origin to commercialize carbon negative polymer materials. Now, let me show you some of the companies of uh, that um, have are pledging and have done uh, signed deals with Origin, right, for for their first um, plan operating in 2023 to um, produce the products for these companies. Ford has signed a deal with Origin. Mitsubishi, Revlon, Dan Danone, uh, who else? Nestle, Pepsi, uh, Mitsui Company, Cura Ray, like we said, ATC Plastics, uh, just a ton. And these are just some, right? In fact, on their second quarter uh, 2022 investor presentation for each of these companies that you see here, for each of these, they have a separate slide uh, describing in detail what the partnership is about and uh, you know what the deal is all about. I didn't put it because you know, I didn't want to put all those slides because it was just too much and you know the video would take too long. But you can if you if you if you look at their second quarter of this presentation, you can read about oh, you know what deal did they make with Ford, what what the, what are the details about the Ford, the deal they made with Mitsubishi, Nestle, and Pepsi, and so on. Origin expects to deliver a superior financial profile for years to come. Yes, because I mean the the, the total addressable market is like what ten trillion dollars and so on in plastics. Plastics are an everyday thing in the United States, globally, everywhere. Um, constantly, every single day, there's needs for plastics, polymers, and many much more things, um, and all these things need to be produced on a daily basis for years and years and forever and ever. So um, Origin definitely is going to become years down the road one of the greatest companies I think you can add in your portfolio and and and, and right now we have a chance based on how the stock has been performing so far publicly traded that it, you know the resistance seems to be at five maybe a little less than that and then it bounces back up right I mean could it go down under five starting next week and so on yeah yeah it could you know yeah, anything of course with the market conditions going on now but if you look at it as a long term um, outlook and a long-term perspective and you know and if things work out and their uh, plant which will be operating in 2023 produces as it promises that it would and the deals are carried through uh, the risks uh, are far less and the reward is huge huge uh, before investing in this company construction schedule so origin one origin two origin three these are the plants the origin one as you can see right here is going to be ready in 2023 the origin 2 by 2025 it may actually go in 2024 you never know it might actually go a little less but what we're concentrated on uh, what we care about is the first one let's get the first one operating let's get the money coming in and the stock is going to go up all right uh, it's five right now five bucks now 2023 don't be surprised to see origin being 12 14 bucks a share market cap uh, is at 712 million dollars right now it's, it has a p ratio of 7.95 i don't know i'm not sure how but 
because they still haven't you know started yet but that's the p ratio they show uh which is not a bad p ratio it's actually a good p ratio total assets and so that and cash cash equipments have grown a lot um let's see here the low is they, they give it is nine bucks average is 15 bucks high 21 bucks and this is for the next 12 months by 12 analysts uh, and then here it shows that um, Citigroup uh, Credit Suisse gives a seven dollar price target I believe you know a little higher than that next year for sure if the plan starts operating which it's not an if it will uh, so it will be uh, higher than seven bucks in my opinion and uh, what else we have here uh, this was interesting this has nothing to do about the long-term outlook of origin nothing it's just they just found this interesting uh, you know, sometimes we think that insiders know it all and they can make money for sure and they can't lose in the markets But look what they did here insider information here insider trades, right? They did nothing uh, Kind of the, okay. This insiders bought here. Then there was insider buy up here and Then there was an insider. There were more insider buys here It went up a little bit they bought here and they all and the, and they did all their sales here Kind of, if you if you look at it like this, like uh, based on when they bought and when they ended up selling in the end, sort of did nothing. <laughs> and these are insiders. That's crazy. So with that being said, Origin Materials, the rewards are way, way, way higher, and the risks I think are less. Risks is like I said, the plant has delays, and in 2023 they may say, well, you know, you know, we have these delays and can't get it operating yet, and, you know, and the whole year goes by that's you know that's 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 going to tank the stock long-term outlook though once the, you know the plants start operating and if they produce as they say they do plus the deals that they got the, the rewards are insane the rewards will be insane so for me i think that i have a higher odds there's more odds of me having a successful um investment with origin and materials than the risks so I'm very, um, very uh, confident, let's say, personally speaking, and I'm very happy to invest in this stock starting now, this year. So I think that I will do well by investing in it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I wish you all the best. Take care.